Volgai is the new and approved. Elvira is here. Um, you can't do the cheese thing anymore, but I still feel as though she is 10 times stronger than what she was before. Having a defense break for two turns and unhealable is insane, by the way. Just, like, I I don't know. Pair her with some Tagahel user, some souls. Like, it's over. Like, she's unkillable, essentially, still. Um, you know, these are her stats that I have on right now. Like, I don't have her fully molad. Technically speaking, I did recall her, <laughs> but because I summoned two of them, um, I recalled one and kept the other one. Um, I used uh, the recall to get Kane because I really like Kane and I really want him for my Rift team. I also just like the unit; like he just looks cool. So yeah, I decided to, to use it to get my free Kane to build him for Rift and things like that. I might do another Rift update video. Once I have him geared and all that kind of good stuff. But we're going into Guild Wars with our brand new... Or not necessarily brand new. Our reworked Arvera. And seeing how she works. And seeing how she goes. I think she's still going to be an unkillable monster. I guess we'll find out in these attacks. So let's get into it. Alright, one unit that I was like, oh, she'll be really strong into. Because of the changes. Is Apocalypse Robbie. Did you guys see? Apocalypse Robbie has a zero focus. Or not focus, fighting spirit. Like, what is she gonna do? What is Apoc going to do? She has nothing. Um, she's not gonna get any CR push. She's not gonna heal. The unit's dead. Like, the unit is now officially, like, not even a good unit anymore. And I think that's so crazy. Don't come near that, that if I crit here, she's got? dead. <laughs> if I crit, she's dead. Do I crit? I don't crit. Uh, uh, I mean, I got close to killing her, even through a non-crit. But yeah, we essentially have her here with some stealth units. So that we kind of just... Like, they have to focus in on um, her, and it doesn't even matter, because she won't die. So you wanna die. She has to provoke there, so that kind of like forces the team to focus into her. You aren't even fit to kiss my feet. And even if, right, like I get down to having no more focus. Oh, I think, I, I did think this Reaper Root thing out. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. They all kind of have immortality now. Oopsie. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just strip it off, so it's okay. But again... Once I lap around, I get my next turn. I just soul burn, and then I have my... Uh, I'll have my S3 up again. So just pair her with uh, technically both Solitaria and um, Spectre could both have Taga Hells, but I that would probably be overkill and not necessary. But we Soul Burn, we do all that kind of stuff. And then we ask three. It's a good look on you. Oh, and suddenly we have immortality again. So we're not dying. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know about this unit, guys. I don't know. Giving her the um, like solitaria passive, essentially. For Fighting Spirit, I don't think it's... I don't know. We're gonna be like, oh, it's fine, it's not too OP, but then we're gonna have moments where this unit's just like super meta, just because of their passive. And that's it. And unlike Solitaria, where Solitaria is like, her defense is stealth, which you can kind of deal with pretty easily, just with AoE, she has more immortality. So, you kind of have to like, 
I don't know. I guess that one, um, that one unit that I always forget about. What is that unit's name? I'm just gonna flash an image of them on the screen. I guess that unit is gonna go up in stocks, like in the meta, just because of um, having to deal with immortality. So I guess they probably already thought about that beforehand, giving her that kit. But yeah, let's go ahead to the next, the next little showcase with her. Alrighty, round two. And now we have her here with MLK and Christy. Um, as you can see, my effect resistance is just not high enough. But we're going to defense break with Landy. And MLK is just going to kill her. Right? Unhealable defense break. He should not get stunned here. At all. Okay, good. Okay, not pulling in the right unit, but it's fine. Does this give attack up to everybody? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. It does. Let's go ahead and try to strip off this, uh... What is it? The escort? Resistance, resistance. It's fine. But I should just nuke here, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't really a nuke because my evil is kind of low damage because he has high effect resistance, but it's fine. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> oh. They're dead. I guess that provokes a little annoying there, because, like, I would want the C. Lilius to hit. But it's fine. It worked out. The Navy Captain Landy didn't do anything. She couldn't really do anything. But, you know, rock on. Well, we are on to our final little showcase, and we're going into Abyssal Euphine. Ooh. It's useless now. Like, she can't do anything. What's she gonna do? You look like a tree. Is she gonna, like, you know, like, literally, what is she going to do in this situation? She'll never be able to S3 because she'll never get enough of her passive thing. Also, I might just lose purely to Aiden. There is that possibility I didn't think about. Hopefully, I heal enough, because uh, <laughs> we might just lose to Aiden, just because it's Aiden. So let's see. Oh, they brought in Aiden. Okay. Oh, we did not heal at all. We're provoking, which I don't think is ideal. Okay, miss. Oh. I think it's fine. Okay, it's fine. We should just heal the fool. <laughs> we should just heal the fool here. Oh, holy sack. Oh, that's kind of scary. Counter attack. But it doesn't matter. Like, it's okay. Like, it's literally okay. I don't have to worry about the Abyssal Euphine randomly countering 50 times, getting enough um, fighting spirit to just kill me. It She just won't ever get it, because I have a unit that's just on the board that just takes it all away, and I love that. I, I know some people don't like it. I know some people think it's going to be really, really OP. But just like how like Solitaria, um, Belion, how those types of units are just really, really annoying to deal with. Um, but the units that I don't like playing into, guess what? <laughs> it's those fighting spirit units or, or whatever. So I'm vibing. I'm okay with it now. I'm okay with it now, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, Rivera. I will probably try to take her into RTA maybe in the near future, but I don't know. A lot of the batches that I've been going into, like, are people that are um, just like 
very casual players like I would have to play a decent amount of games to get to like an elo where I'm up against people that are like actually trying and not like first timing RTA or something like that so I may do that or I might just wait until the actual RTA season before I start actually playing RTA again who knows we'll have to see but it's my little showcase in Guild Wars with our brand new vampire chick who is probably going to be very very OP even if you just ignore like her kit alone like just because he decreases fighting spirit gain by 100% that alone just makes her useful like forever kind of like how solitaria is how bellion is right units like that are going to always be relevant just because they cut off a certain aspect or feature in the game so it doesn't even matter if they're you know they don't provide enough damage or whatever her just being on the board she's doing something and that's kind of something where people have an issue with but hey it is what it is um there are ways to deal with it or counter it is by killing her <laughs> um i would definitely think that you know more control teams or lua even soul burn uh s3 are kind of going to be your ways to deal with this just playing aggressive or cleaving it's typically how you deal with units like this anyway but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out.